Hi, my name is Josh Efron with Blue World. Thank you for purchasing your Home Elements Garden Fall. Our goal at Blue World is to make your setup experience as quick and easy as possible. So our engineers design the Garden Fall with the highest quality materials and the fewest parts necessary for your convenience. For setup purposes, I'm going to show you how to put together the 90-inch Garden Fall. If you happen to buy the 72-inch Garden Fall, the setup is exactly the same. So by now, you probably laid out the parts. Let's go over them one by one. First, your water panel. Pump with primary filter, your micron filter, your flow adjustment valve, your LED light tray, remote control, polished river rock, header, rock tray, base pads, base, also included is your fully illustrated instruction guide with just five simple steps with no tools required. Let's get started. Step one, place the base. If your desired location happens to be a hard surface, we provided these rubber base pads that you can apply to each corner, which will protect your floor and provide sound dampening. If you happen to be using a carpet such as we're showing here, you can simply skip this step. When inserting the panel in the base, make sure to use two people. Be sure to grasp the LED power cord and pull it tightly so it won't get caught under the upright. There are four thumb screws in the base that you will need to tighten to secure the panel. Two on the left and two on the right. On the bottom of the pump, we have placed a thick rubber pad that will dampen the pump sound. We will assemble the pump, micron filter, and flow valve. Simply screw the flow valve by hand to the micron filter and be careful not to over tighten. Then screw the filter into the pump. Be sure to leave the valve in the upward position for easy access. Then place the entire assembly into the base and join to the quick connect by hand, leaving the valve in the open position as shown. Now feed the pump cord through the escape hole, then follow with the LED power cord. Make sure that you pull out enough cord so you can reach your outlet. Now let's get the water going. It's always recommended to use distilled water to make sure that your water feature will run cleaner, longer, and require less maintenance. I'm going to plug it in. In most cases, your fountain will run properly the moment that you turn it on. Why? Our engineers have designed a proprietary delivery system in two parts. First is the plumber grade PVC bar that will distribute the water evenly across the top. Second is a stainless steel castellated inversion bar that will distribute the water evenly across the glass panel. In addition, all of our Blue World fountains are inspected by quality control inspectors before shipping. In most cases, when you first start up your water feature, it's going to flow properly. If not, there are three main adjustments that you can make to ensure the water feature will flow properly. One of the ways to make sure that your water feature is running properly is the way the spray bar here is positioned. Our QA inspectors put an arrow indicator here on the spray bar to make sure that it's aligned properly for the correct water flow. This can often get shifted during shipping uh, just over time, so make sure that this is adjusted where their arrows line up to the other arrows for proper water flow. The second way to ensure that your water feature will flow properly is the flow adjustment valve here. You can adjust the flow to your desired velocity and you got to make sure not to keep the flow too low because it will put pressure on the pump. So we always recommend to turn it on the highest speed without any splashing. The third way to ensure that your water feature will flow properly is a product called Jazz Window and Glass Prep. All of our quality control inspectors test each garden fall with this substance to ensure that the water will flow properly during testing. In the event that you receive your fountain and it's not flowing properly, it's most likely due to residue or film that occurred during the manufacturing period to the time that you received your fountain. If that's the case, give us a call. We'll send you a bottle at no charge. Now let's install the light tray. On either end you have these tabs that go into the uprights on either end. You take your power cord and plug it into the transformer through the side. Take your header, here we 
we go. Now let's put the rock tray in. Use your river rock. Now let's talk about the lights. First, your RF touch remote control. Those of you who don't know what RF means, it's radio frequency, meaning you can use the remote control up to 50 feet away, even in another room. To turn the lights on, press the red button in the middle. And your first option is your white lights, which is your button to the right. And you have the option to dim the lights by tapping the button on the bottom, or brighten the lights and tap the button on the top. Change color, again press the right button, and use your finger and slide it around the circle to get the color that you'd like. Let's say we want to do blue. Here's blue, and again you can brighten it and dim it. Notice the continuous ray of light all the way down to the bottom where the river rock are with no hot spots. The button to the left has a number of pre-programmed lighting displays. One of the options I'll show you now is a slow, gentle transition from color to color. You can speed up this transition by tapping the top button or slow down the transition by pressing the bottom button. For further lighting options, refer to your instruction manual. Garden falls are built to last a lifetime and with proper maintenance, we are confident you will enjoy yours for years to come.